Hi everyone, I am Rick Zanotti with Tech Down Over, and today one more, you can't get rid of us this easily, one more autofocus tracking test. This time it's the brand new Sony HXR-NX80. This is a professional level camcorder, uh, came out mid-December, and it's a 4K camcorder as well as it's got really nice range on the lens. It's, it's pretty, pretty much a nice product. Uh, we did some testing with this before, now we're going to do our focus test to show you what we found. So anyway, I am in face tracking mode, and as you notice as I move around, it does a pretty good job of tracking me. Pretty good. Still tracking. Um, it does a good job. It's fast. We did uh, comparisons with the GH5 as well as as well as the Sony A9 and the, I think that's it for now, just this one. We're gonna do the Canon XF405 coming up soon. But this is the NX80. We'll say that for short because HXR is a little long. HXR-NX80. Eh. Let's go outside. We're gonna run our test out here Now, one thing that we're going to test this camera on, and when we, in our initial test, we were pretty much blown away by it, just like the A9, which, by the way, this camera has the A9 chip into it. This is tough for cameras. I'm backlit, very backlit. There's some lighting in front, but there's a lot of lighting in back. It's a very sunny day out here in Southern California. And how are we looking? Perfect. You, features are seen? Yep. On the Panasonic GH5, I was a silhouette. On the A9, it was probably like this one. As I said, this one shares the A9 chip, and, but it has less autofocus points. This one, I think, only has 200 something, 290 maybe. The other one has 693. That's a pretty big difference. Oh, by coming out later, it's not as sunny anymore. So anyway, here we are, we are outdoors. If I move back about 20 feet or so, tell me when I'm boxes off. You're still in focus. St still in focus. I'm pretty far. Yeah, it's awesome. Just, uh, okay, so right here is probably about 30 something feet, maybe 40. So right about here I'm in? Yep. So that's our range. It's probably, let's see, if he's going to track me as I walk by. Yeah, it's probably about 25 feet from you. So I'm going to come back in. So I should be back in focus right about here. And let's go do our, our edge test. Yes, you can't mess with us. We like our edges. Come on. It's another beautiful day in sunny Southern California. It is January 17, 2018. So here in focus? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna go to the edge. Further. You're at the edge of the focus, but you're still on. Okay. Shot. You're out. So I'm off shot right here. I'm gonna come back into shot. But I'm not in the box area, so my bo my face isn't surrounded. Not yet. Okay, so I move here. There you go. So now I am in the area. So we're not quite making it to the edge. Right about edge. A little further. A little bit further. Now you're out of focus. So I'm out of focus right here. I'm at the edge of the camera of the lens, and I'm out. Right. Come back in. In focus. I'm in focus. So you get about two thirds of the frame area, it looks like. Have a car coming. Let's see if the car distracts from my focus. So we're here and talking. Nope, it's still got it actually held on. Now, a lot of cameras wobble. They see a car and they go, oh, what's that? Oh no, back here. Wait, wait, what's that? So in this case, it kept. That's, I'm impressed, that's good. It was smart enough to say, I'm on face, I'm staying on face. Nothing gets rid of face. If I come down, still in focus? come up I'm probably in focus yep. all right let's head back in this camera is this camcorder actually is pretty good it keeps focus pretty well even with cars coming here's another car coming let's see what this does this is impromptu we love this uh, as I'm talking it's gonna go behind me right about there and did it wobble nope. no that's pretty impressive 
it's still keeping me in focus. Now I'm, I'm backlit again. How's that looking? Uh, let me zoom in on you and see. Okay. Looks good. So by beam backlit, this is something the GH5 can't do. The Canons don't do as well. Sony's amazing when it comes to backlighting because it's not that easy to overcome such a light, especially when we don't even have fill lights on this right now. So I'm gonna let you back in. So we are back into our office building. And so if I stand here, a little bit of lighting overhead, it's probably shadowy, but you know, hands come up. If I go slowly. It lost you for just a second. So for a second, as I come in, it loses it? Yeah. Comes out. If I do that. Then it doesn't really affect it. It's sticky, it's not following the hand. Nope. That's pretty amazing. Wash on, wash off. That's right. The Sony kid. Okay. So we're back in here. And still getting us pretty well. So it's, a, it's an amazing little camera. Because focus is really about as good as it gets on some of these systems. So I'm here. We're in our studio right now. It's kind of a mess, but don't mind us. We just finished redoing it. We didn't finish redoing it. We just started redoing it. So, focus has been good on almost everything we've done, from going to edges, to moving quickly, turning quickly, having an object in front, having cars go by. Couldn't have, couldn't have planned that any better. Uh, because a lot of cameras will go and come back. This didn't, it stayed on the face. It was true to what it's supposed to do. I know in the previous days with the GH4, for example, it would have gone, <laughs> would have gone right to that car because it would have said, what's that? What's that light's pretty. This one seems pretty good as does the A9. The Panasonic GH5 was a very good contender yesterday. Uh, we were talking earlier that this camera, the NX80 camcorder from Sony is probably a little better at the autofocus. Uh, and it's a little better at the width or about the same on the edges. A little, a little bit better on the edges. The Panasonic, once I hit the edge, was pretty much, I was blurry. It didn't know what to do. It started focusing on the closer objects or the more contrasty objects. This one does the same thing. If, if you go out of focus, it'll focus on something more contrasty. Uh, but that's okay. It does it very, very quickly. So, come in and out still in focus. So another review, again, the Sony HXR-NX80 4K camcorder does a really good job. I think we're actually filming in 4K right now. Yeah. And um, it's nice. It has a really good lens. I think it's 18 to like 370 millimeter. That's far and it'll keep focus. In fact, when we did a test outside, when he focused in on me, if you notice, it doesn't lose focus while it's coming in on you. It, it is rock solid on the focus. Very impressive. We will see you next time on Tech Down Over. Guess what the next one is? It's going to be the Canon XF405. This is the competitor. These compete. We'll see how that goes. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye.